You need to hear these voices. The nation needs to hear these voices and understand the reality that folks have been living through for a very long time. Outrage in South Carolina tonight after the fatal shooting of an unarmed black man by a white police officer. Demonstrators gathered outside the North Charleston City Hall demanding justice after Officer Michael Slager was charged with murder. Slager originally claimed Walter Scott ran away from him and took his taser following a routine traffic stop over the weekend. But witness video shows Scott was shot several times by the officer as he ran away. Fox's John Roberts has the latest. The FBI and Justice Department now looking into the shooting of a black man by a white police officer Saturday here in South Carolina. North Charleston patrolman Michael Slager facing a murder charge related to the incident. Local officials say the officer has been fired. There have been two families that have uh, been harmed great by what occurred, both the victims and the officer's family. And our hearts go out to both of them. Their press conference disrupted by angry protesters. Chief of Mayor, where's the chief of police? And the crowd chanting after the press conference ended. No justice, no peace! No justice, no peace! The fatal altercation between Slager and Walter Scott captured on video. Scott shot eight times as he appears to flee following a traffic stop. Reports indicate the 50-year-old reached for Slager's stun gun before the shots were fired. The case comes after a string of high-profile shootings of black males by white police officers. Reverend Al Sharpton weighing in, calling for body cameras on cops. The cameras will show what is there. Whether it helps the police or the citizen, no one should fight transparency. The North Charleston Police Department has received a grant to purchase 101 body cameras. The mayor said today he has purchased an additional 150 more so that every officer on his force will have a body cam. In North Charleston, South Carolina, John Roberts, Fox News.